Thank you for joining us today. This is Sergeant Goldsmith and Command Sergeant Major K providing a guard cast hip pocket training for you. Today's training will be on new grooming guidelines. It's important that you know the guidelines not only for yourself, but also for your fellow soldiers. In South Carolina, the following has been approved by Brigadier General Lott and Command Sergeant Major C, and the information has been provided by Sergeant Major K. The Army has changed its grooming standards, and the South Carolina State Guard will incorporate the new standards into its grooming and appearance regulation. The significant changes include... All right, probably the first one that we need to talk about is for the first time, male and female soldiers may wear blended hair colors. Uh, I don't know much about, uh, about fashion and I don't know anything about women's hairstyles and very little about men's hairstyles. However, uh, the, the idea here is that women in particular can wear streaked hair. Uh, now, the Army has to have some regulations about all this kind of stuff, and, and they're saying that the colors in the hair must blend naturally and must not be in severe contrast to each other, whatever that means. Uh, but basically what you're talking about here is if you want to have, if you have dark hair and you want to have blonde streaks in it, you can do that as long as the contrast is not too strong. Uh, but once again, you can't have blue and purple and green and pink and neon hair because those colors don't occur naturally in the human population. What we have next, Sergeant? There is no minimum length for male or female hair. If the hair does not part naturally, soldiers may cut a part into the hair, but it cannot be any wider than three millimeters, okay? The part will be one straight line, not slanted, curved, and located where a soldier might normally part the hair. No designs may be cut into the hair at all. It has to look natural. All right, here's a big one coming up uh, that, that I, I know will please a lot of the women soldiers in the State Guard. And that is that now women can wear ponytails or braids with all their uniforms. Uh, there are some limitations to it, but uh, instead of having to pull your hair up in a bun like, uh, like uh, we had to do in the past, women can now have ponytails and braids. Uh, it can be one braid down the middle of the back of the hair. It can be one ponytail. It can be two braids down the back. Um, as, as long as when the soldier is standing at the position of attention, the hair doesn't fall below the bottom of the shoulder blade. So a big change here on women's hairstyles. Also, female soldiers may wear multiple hairstyles. This means that you can have braids plus a ponytail. Okay, you can do cornrows or locks going into a bun or ponytail, et cetera, right? The restriction on size and spacing of cornrows or locks has also been removed. There's been a change also in lipstick. Um, in the past, uh, the, the only lipstick that you could wear with, uh, with the uh, combat uniform was uh, uh, the kind that you, couldn't, that you didn't notice. But now they've changed it a little bit, and they are saying that female soldiers, guys, I'm sorry, you cannot wear lipstick even yet, but female soldiers can wear solid shades of lipstick, but the colors can't be extreme. And the Army says extreme colors are purple, bright pink, bright red, gold, blue, black, hot pink, green, yellow, and fluorescent. So you can't wear any of those really outlandish colors. But as long as you stay within some reasonable guidelines, you can wear lipstick with your uniform. Female soldiers may also wear solid color shades of nail polish. Authorized colors include any natural or you know, nude colors, uh, American manicure, and light pink. The colors may not be extreme, just like with the hair colors, like purple, bright pink, red, gold, blue, black, hot pink, green, yellow, white, gray, etc. Okay. Uh, French manicures are prohibited. Extreme nail shapes are prohibited as well, such as ballerina, stiletto, uh, arrow, and coffin. All right. Now, here's another thing. Uh, for, for the first time, uh, we've got uh, an opportunity for men to wear nail polish. Men can wear clear nail polish uh, uh, under the new regulation. Uh, and moving on one step further than that, this is one that is, is going to be important to a lot of people, and that is that female soldiers can now wear earrings with their Army combat uniform. Uh, there's some limitations to it. They've got to be 
uh, either gold, silver, or diamond, and nobody is going to check to make sure it's a real diamond. As long as it's something that's clear and looks sort of like a diamond, you'll be all right. But the, the limitations go a little bit further. They can't be any wider than a quarter of an inch in diameter, and they must fit snugly against the lobe of your ear. And if you're going to wear earrings, you got to wear them in both ears. You can't wear the little studs up in the cartilage of the ear. It's only uh, in the lobe. But if you're wearing them in both lobes of the ear, the important thing to remember is quarter inch diameter, gold, silver, or diamond earrings are permitted. And all soldiers are authorized to use diacritical accents and hyphens on their name tags and name tapes, as long as the markings represent proper enunciation of their legal names. And these changes are effective immediately in the South Carolina State Guard. Okay. So if you have any further questions, please reference the link down below in the description that I've provided to Alaract 016 slash 2021, which also includes visuals for you to reference. Okay. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you again for participating in this hip pocket training. This is Sergeant Goldsmith, Command Sergeant Major Cabe. Out.